Hey everyone, I hope everything is going well. I am here with Blair uh, and I have a couple of updates to share with you. Um, the first is that I have been trying very hard to work on some face-ups and um, just get a bit of experience doing blushing, things like that. Um, I'm trying to broaden my skills a bit. So I've been working on face-ups. I have a second head that is the same as this. Um, that I purchased for the face-up competition at Anime North. So I've been working on face-ups for her, um, and I hate them, <laughs> but, but I've been trying. Um, this is the head. So she has this kind of sketchy looking, not that great face-up with two zeros on it right now that uh, I'm going to get rid of soon and try again. But this was my second attempt, and actually the only reason I ended up sealing it was because I did it at my friend's. And she had some pearl powder, and it was really cute once I <laughs> added the sparkle. So I was like, I guess I'll seal this because I really like this sparkly pearl powder, and it's definitely something that I want to buy in the future for future face-ups. So that was kind of my fail for the weekend. Um, but I did end up giving Blair a tattoo. Um, for those of you who don't know, Blair is supposed to be a robot, which is why she has... This was not done by me, but which was why, which is why she has this. Hopefully my camera will focus in on it. Like it did with the last thing, but there we go. She has this microchip tattoo behind her ear that you probably can't see very well. So, um, I also went ahead and gave her, like, a type of a serial number. Um, because her name Blair is, I can't even remember what it was supposed to stand for. Um... something the R is robot anyway the AI in her name is artificial intelligence so see if we can see this here but I ended up just giving her a little oh you really can't see that a little uh, Blair with the AI um, in red 01 tattoo that's like her she's She's the first of her type of robot, the Blair line. Uh, so yeah, and that's why I put two zeros on this head. Because it was supposed to be kind of like a failed prototype, because it's my practice head. Um, as well, I have ordered, I've placed an order for Blair's sister robot. She's going to be a Let's Kid Delph. Uh, Darin or Darin or however you say that D-A-R-I-N I ordered her for the summer event and so she will be coming I have all of the things that I need for her here already um, I'm ordering basically just the doll and I just ordered a few accessories to push me um, over the price cap for the um, Senior Delph head, which I'm not sure what I'll do with yet, but I wasn't interested at all in the Kid Delph head, event head, so I went ahead and um, placed an order that was large enough to get the Senior Delph head. So we'll see how that ends up being once I get it. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned yet either uh, that I've used my $100 gift certificate for Switch to buy a Switch um, Shiho head. And I've got some big plans for him. Um, he's actually going to be Spore's younger half-brother. And I'm not quite sure of a body for him yet. But um, I'm going to try it on the fantasy doll body that I have for my um, senior doll, Bori. And if I like that, then I might order another one. Because I really do like that body. It's cute. And he's supposed to be kind of like a cute sort of younger brother. So um, it's a smaller body. Kind of cutesy. So I might get another one of those. Um or look into some other cheap um, SD boy body that's kind of small and cute and not too defined. So I'm not super sure on that. Um, third, or fourth, or I don't even know what number I'm on now because I've had said so many things. Um, I also have with me my little Monica Enril head that I purchased on a whim off of Facebook. Of a seller on Facebook. He's super cute. 
don't hardly have any plans for him yet, but he's here with me. Um, I'm kind of thinking of getting a face up for him based a bit on the character um, of the newish anime Sakamoto Deska because I find that anime hilarious and I like I would kind of want him to have a darker face up with a little face birthmark dot thing by his eye. It's kind of where I'm looking at right now and I can kind of see the similarities of the sculpt to the character. Um, so he doesn't have a name yet, he doesn't have a body plan, he doesn't have anything. I don't know. I just bought him on a whim because I saw this sculpt. I saw an owner of this sculpt at a meet before and I loved it. And it was just kind of always the sculpt that I liked. And then when my friend found one for a good price, she linked it to me and I, I jumped on it. So I ended up with him. I haven't tried him on a body or anything yet. So we'll see. No idea for that guy. So yeah, I think that's all of my news. Oh, one last thing. Um, I still have my Lati Tan yellow bear for sale. I can pull, I have her all packaged up down here. Um, and I think I've done a sale video for her before, but um, she's still here and she's really super cute. And whenever I take her out of the package, I kind of don't want to sell her again. And I showed her to my mom. Well, my mom saw me taking new sales pictures of her and she was like, why are you getting rid of her? She's so cute. Um, but I'm just the reality of it is I'm just not super into the tinies and uh, I just need more room and space in my collection for these new doll plans, these SDs. So she's still for sale. She is really adorable. She has a very, very sweet face up by Eating Death's Aesthetics and I've reduced her price to 250 US dollars. Um, she comes uh, with the eyes that she has in. This is just because I'm I'm nice and just giving them away. Um, I also have a wig for her, a wig cap, and a dress in here. And she also comes with all of the Lati um, extra hands that come with her. Um, she doesn't have a certificate, um, but I purchased her from a reputable, some reputable local doll owners. Um, so she's definitely not a recast. You don't have to worry. She has her Lati symbol. Um, someone posted recently online that another thing to look for was this uh, O-ring in their head because a lot of the times the recasts come with a um, S-hook, but she doesn't. Um, the only thing is this, she's been passed around to a couple of families and uh, along the way she has a tiny bit of damage up here. She's got a little piece that cracked off when must have been when they were taking her head off and on, and I also still need to reattach this lower magnet. Um, I've just been a little worried about doing that. So, if you're okay with that, then you can fix it on your own as a new owner. That would be awesome. Otherwise, I can try it myself. But I'm just not very keen on it. So, she's still here. Um, she, again, she's a Lottie doll, light tan bear, and with this very, very sweet face up. So please message me if you're interested in her, and hopefully we can work out a deal. I'm also open to traits, uh, specifically for cheap SD bodies at this point, because that's what I'm trying to uh, add to my family. So, um, yeah, I think that's all, that's it. I'm hoping this sweetie will find a home. Um, I've had her listed for a bit now. I don't know if just the fact that I don't have the COA is deterring people, but I swear she's legit. Um, and I've got all these heads in the works, so I never thought I'd be a head hoarder, but it looks like I am at the moment, and, uh, I'm sure I'll get bodies for them soon. I don't usually keep heads for long. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on my face-ups and stuff, and hopefully when I talk to you next, I'll have some improvements in that. So take care, everyone, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend.